Hey guys, it's Steve. Before I even get to this, this topic was inspired by this gameplay. And pretty much you guys you guys can see who's playing, but Kobe Bryant violated Dwayne Wade. Like, it was so messed up. So, I was like, alright, you're gonna violate? And I think after he dunked on me, I held him to like two points. You know, and I was just embarrassing him both offensively and defensively with Dwayne Wade. So, stay tuned for that. It was a pretty epic matchup. Uh, but that inspired this. Could Dwayne Wade have been the greatest of all time, the best player ever? And I already said, in terms of talent, Dwayne Wade is a top five player ever. In terms of pure talent, just right off the get-go, in terms of talent, you know, D. Wade is top five ever. And But it's hard when you're talking about the best ever, because the best ever, it, it's talent, it's skill, and it's accomplishments slash achievements. And the difference between talent and skill is talent is, you know, natural born ability. Whether it's, you know, you, you had the height, the weight, you know, the natural athleticism, the balance, the coordination, things like that. Uh, skill set is learning how to dribble, like footwork, things like that. You know, so in terms of talent, D-Wade is top five ever. And some, in terms of skill, I would say top ten ever, maybe. Uh, but in terms of, you know, being the GOAT, you have to combine all of those. And that's why the debate really is, three players really, it's either LeBron James... Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan. Those are the three players most people bring up for the best player ever. So could Dwayne Wade have been one of them? And the answer is, it's possible because think about it. 2006, you know, what was that? His third year in the NBA, he led the Miami Heat to the NBA Finals. He averaged 35 plus points per game. And not only that, but he won Finals MVP in one of the best performances in NBA history. You know, so that was there. And then, obviously, we had the injuries follow real shortly after, a few years after. And then we had LeBron go to Miami and Dwayne Wade. I think the first season they played together, 2010, 2011, D-Wade averaged 25, LeBron averaged 26. And Dwayne Wade was still in his prime then, but then knees got worse, you know. And, you know, it, it's just sad because we really never got to see Dwayne Wade. Because I don't remember the exact year. It could have been 2007. It could have been 2008. I may be wrong. Uh, but with one of those years, you know, he injured his shoulder. And then when LeBron actually came, it was his knee. So it's like he never had the blessing of staying healthy for the majority of his career like LeBron did. You know, so could Dwayne Wade have been the best ever? And the answer is it's possible, but it's not probable. And, you know, he's a great player, don't get me wrong. And, you know, you guys know where I stand in terms of Dwayne Wade being a top 10 player ever. You know, I actually had him on number 8 on my list, but I just don't see him being the best player ever. Because if you think about the best player ever, right, you know, in my opinion, it's LeBron and then in other people's is Michael Jordan or Kobe. So I'm going to say why I think LeBron is the best ever. In terms of controlling the tempo, you know, passing, rebounding, scoring. Yeah, he can do everything on the court. He can guard all five positions. You know, it's just ridiculous. You know, he's like a combination of all the greats. You know, and then Michael Jordan, we have someone that never lost in the finals, you know, you know that dominated the league, that with 10 scoring titles in a row, I think it was. It's just ridiculous. And then we have Kobe, who had some of the best performances ever, 82-point games, five-time champion, things like that. And in terms of Dwayne Wade is when LeBron joined D. Wade, D. Wade wasn't the leader anymore on that team. The first season they were, but they lost. And that kind of says something about Dwayne Wade. Um, not in the fact that, you know, he's a terrible leader or anything like that. Because he's not. Because there was a point in time where he was better than LeBron James. It's just LeBron folded in the finals, yes. But D. Wade, in my opinion, could have carried the load a little bit more like LeBron did in 2014 or like he tried to do in 2014 where they ultimately lost or like LeBron tried to do in 2015 against the Warriors, you know? So I'm not saying Dwayne Wade is, you know, terrible or anything, but I'm saying there's a, there's a little separation between LeBron and Dwayne Wade in terms of just carrying the load. And, I, I you know, obviously injuries come into play with that. You know, he still has it. But I just don't see him, you know, let's say LeBron came and Bosch came and D-Wade was still in his prime for those four years together and they won all four championships. Would Dwayne Wade have been finals MVP? I don't think so. Just because LeBron does more on the court than D-Wade. Now, don't get me wrong. Dwayne Wade is great offensively and he's great defensively. I just, I don't know. It's just, to me, there's something missing 
you know, from from his game. And it's not the heart, it's not the passion, it's not any of that because he has all of that. And then, and again, I say this again because I love Dwayne Wade, but there was a time where he was better than LeBron. It's just LeBron developed so far into this legendary status in terms of being Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, you know, uh, Paul Pierce, uh, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, all in one person, you know, Oscar Robinson, all in one person, and it's just like, Elgin Baylor too, by the way, all in one person, and it's just like, you know, there's no way anyone could touch that, and the same thing with Michael Jordan, you know, so it's like, he has, he has it all, you know, he's amazing, but I just don't think it could have happened, even if he won four championships, you know, well, yeah, that would have been five championships. Even if he won five championships, I don't think anyone would have considered him the best ever. And I don't think I would have. Now, I really think he is top ten ever. But again, you know, like when you when you talk about Larry Bird or when you talk about Magic Johnson, and I have those players higher than Dwayne Wade on my list, um, you know, we have those. They impact the game on every single level. And in my opinion, D. Wade only impacted the game on scoring and playing defense. You know, he he was he was he's a great passer, but that wasn't his forte. In other words, you know, it's it's hard to say because, you know, it's actually hard doing this video because I'm trying to keep all bias out, which is why I'm you know doing this video because I like to be honest. But you know, I just I love Dwayne Wade so much, so it's hard to talk about things like this. But I don't think he could have been the goat, even if he won four championships. You know, just because LeBron was just so far ahead of everyone. And the same thing with Michael Jordan, you know, and Kobe. They're just so far ahead of everyone. I just don't see it happening. Anyway, it's been Steve. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm out.